I'm on my way to the Ampelosi Game Reserve, the last refuge of the African white rhino. Here, alongside their smaller, fiercer browsing cousins, the black rhino, they thrived and multiplied undisturbed for over half a century, the only white rhinos left in the whole world. It was from this reserve that the rest of Africa was repopulated during the 1960s thanks to the vision of people like Dr. Ian Player of the Natal Parks Board. As one of the big five, Africa just wouldn't be the same without the rhino. Today, the rhino's blissful existence is once more under threat. I have an appointment with the head of the Rhino Security Task Force for all the Ezenvelo Parks in KZN, Mr. Jabulani Ngubani. In 2010 alone, 330 rhino were slaughtered in South Africa, enriching the poaching cartels with the fat 35 million US dollars. Dependent on donations, the parks just can't compete. Last week, these men were involved in a shootout and a poacher was killed. Sometimes we catch them like the guys that we caught today. Yes. We call them before they shot the rhino. And then we catch the guys right on spot, right-handed while they were shooting the rhino. We, we take the horn, microchip it, and then hand it in as an exhibit. But once all the processes have been done, then they return the horn to us. But we store those rhino horns because according to society, so we can't sell horns and stuff like that. It would be nice if we can make profit through those horns and then put the money and direct it back to conservation. So now you face a situation whether to legalize um, the, the sale of, of, of rhino horn because the parks are sitting with, with many, many thousands of horns. I don't know how you would harvest rhino horn without damaging the rhino considerably. If the timing was right and, and, and you controlled it and your rhino poaching came down um, to pretty much almost nothing and there was an opportunity of selling off the rhino horns and that to raise money, yeah, then I'd say go ahead and do it. Whilst everyone hotly debates whether societies should lift the ban on the trade in rhino horn, more rhinos are being killed every day. How much longer will the custodians of the rhino be able to hold on to their stockpile of valuable horns before they fall into the wrong hands? It is very big money, money that could be used for conservation, and it's desperately needed right now. Sometimes you have to do the wrong thing in order to make it possible to do the right thing. In the last three or four years, there has been this absolute massacre taking place. How many more rhinos will have to die? Are we going to have to wait until the last one is gone?